Hello and welcome to this video. We're looking at secure analytics in Meraki, which means how we transform Meraki into a network as a sensor. My name is Hannah Jabour. I'm a technical marketing engineer leader, part of the threat detection and response business unit. Any effective security depends on having visibility across your environment in order to have the ability to detect threats wherever you are. Even if your users are roaming or actually out of their office or your workload systems are on-prem, in the cloud or anywhere, it all depends on having this total visibility to grab information wherever communication is actually occurring in order to apply threat intelligence and analytics on this data to understand all your entities, what they're doing, see their communication, understand their behavior and alert on when is any activity is actually threatening or risky. And Cisco NDR, Network Detection and Response Solution, focus on mainly first getting visibility across your environment without having to install any agents, which is an agentless uh, technology depending on the infrastructure you're actually using to detect threats even in encrypted traffic. Uh, the second thing it does, it works on detecting threats using advanced techniques from machine learning, behavioral analytics or threat intelligence uh, and also it allows the ability to do an automated response using uh, response management capabilities inside the solution itself. So this transformed the solution from just being a network visibility solution to a threat uh, response and uh, detection and response capability. And this is provided by two type of technologies, the secure network analytics, which is an on-premise data collection, storage and analytics solution that could collect uh, telemetry from on-prem and cloud uh, technologies. The same for secure cloud analytics, it, it, it actually can uh, ingest data from on-prem and cloud uh, infrastructure, but but the difference is that this is SaaS actually delivered and it's uh, it's a portal that can get access to. So depending on the flavor uh, you're gonna work with, you have the option to either take secure network analytics or cloud analytics part of the NDR solutions. So what's new with Meraki and secure network analytics, whether it's cloud or on-prem? Uh, the key thing we're going to talk about is the fact that you can enable your Meraki network to become a network as a sensor. And this ability to enable it is very simple. You just have to do a one simple click to enable your entire network to become a sensor by sending this telemetry up to secure analytics or cloud analytics, any NDR solutions within Cisco and you'll be able to have an immediate threat detection and response capabilities immediately in uh, Secure Net or Cloud Analytics. This will allow Meraki to expand from being network solution managed in the cloud in, uh, into a solution that has the ability to give feed into another security solution based on telemetry and also expand to become uh, having detection capabilities, security capabilities, including machine learning, behavior analytics, anomaly detection, and others. And this will also allow us to, to grab automated threat responses natively with the uh, Cisco Identity Service Engine or customized depending on the capabilities we're looking at, uh, either with uh, notification with WebEx team, ServiceNow, or custom integration with other solution, or natively also with SecureX incident response uh, and uh, promoting an orchestration workflows up to SecureX. So this is expanding the capability of Meraki uh, to become a solution that provides de threat detection and response with a simple click. So this is introduced with the Meraki MS390. Uh, it's a Cisco Silicon and cloud managed with Meraki that has a lot of capabilities from modular uplinks, stacking up to 1480 gigs, uh, and also have a lot of great capabilities. That one of the most important ones we're talking about today is the fact that you can enable that telemetry from simple click. You just need to choose from the cloud manage menu what you're going to enable, put the targeted uh, collector IP, and provide the ports. 
and enable ETA and AVC at the same time on the same switch to export analytics to SNA or SEA. And this will allow rapid deployment and easy deployment for your customers in just a one click. Uh, it's ideal for the, as a telemetry source, it provides information about uh, application based on AMBAR and also ETA telemetry for uh, detecting malware and encrypted traffic or even provide compliance related uh, ETA information. It's simple, fast and easy to use. This is the key. One click for the entire network to become a sensor. You don't need to anymore to deploy sensors for other solutions to send traffic to them or information because the rich sensors exist already on the network, which are the uh, Meraki switches. Uh, what do you get out of the box assessment, security assessment for your environment uh, based on uh, techniques that have been used to detect uh, remote breaches, DNS uh, risk, uh, possible malwares or internal threats inside or threats inside your environment and also give you an, an entire visibility across your network to understand all the metrics uh, around it from device count, uh, traffic encrypted and unencrypted and other information in one simple click again. The, uh, the machine learning capabilities are built in the solution. Uh, cloud, some of them are cloud hosted, some are uh, on-prem that applies multiple different techniques, including anomaly detection, supervised machine learning, unsupervised machine learning and others. This will help automatically identify and detect anomalies, uh, including and but not limited to ransomware, adware, uh, banking trojan and others. And this is presented in a very simplified view inside the management console of um, SNA or SEA. And you'll be able to actually look at these, understand the details also of these threats uh, and drill down into them to understand the impact of these threats. And finally, um, one of the other benefits we're going to look at is the fact that this information can be used to feed uh, inside the network with ICE information related to segmentation and policy validation. This is based on security group tagging, which is group uh, uh, based policy and flow traffic. We're able to identify based on the uh, policies used in ICE and applied in ICE to detect any deviation from um, an actual uh, policy that has been applied and you'll be able to understand the, exactly the network communication that were related to this violation if, if it happens. This helps in two multiple things. First of all, um, you could use it to actually create your policy to identify communication where they are and where they go to. And second, to validate those policies that if they are actually uh, working as intended. And at the end also, you could be able to detect any bad actors inside your network because you'll be able to see um, violation of traffic when they are trying to go beyond where they are assigned to to actually uh, grab some data or maybe attack your environment. This is all feasible uh, with uh, the MS390 and Secure Network Analytics plus uh, it's using PS Grid ANC with ICE. Um, the, the, the best telemetry source for SNA is going to be the MS390 uh, and with SNA threat detection, this will be able to actually trigger a threat response and automate that back to ICE uh, uh, into the ability to do a change of authorization for the device uh, in order maybe to change VLAN, put it in investigation, maybe uh, access or others. You'll be able also to do responses to SecureX, ServiceNow and others, depending on what you want to do with that response. It's all possible with the response management capability inside uh, SNA uh, with provided with, him, with the uh, telemetry from uh, MS390s. So it's an automated threat response communities that you can augment also uh, your MS390 with uh, SNA and ICE. Uh, this is our key codes from uh, actual customers that are using uh, Secure Network Analytics. It's the most important thing for them is the visibility uh, that you get instantly inside your environment and understanding every single device in the network uh, without having to do or install any new sensors by using your existing infrastructure that you've already there in your environment. Finally, what is Meraki and Secure Network Analytics uh, together? What do they provide? It, they provide a secure network. First, you get visibility, as we said, everywhere for anything that's connected on your environment. 
And you get unique detections based on behavioral modeling and machine learning, even when traffic is encrypted. Fourth, you get the ability to, to, to uh, analyze your network segmentation plus detect segmentation uh, violation and identify the exact source of these violations. And at the end, also, you'll be able to remediate, not only detect threats or segmentation uh, violations, but also be able to remediate and automate that remediation if needed. So thank you for listening to this. Hope you enjoyed this video and tune in for more updates.